Hello again, everybody. This is Derek from ScreamingEagleAirsoft.com, and today what we are doing is we are doing another know it all video. And again, this video is being filmed in conjunction with testing of Dean's and Tamiya connectors. But today, on this video, I'm going to show you how to solder a Dean's connector onto a uh, onto a battery, and you use the same technique to solder it onto your gun. Okay. Okay, I just wanted to tell you uh, some of the different items you're going to need. You will need a soldering iron. A lot of guys like to use electric ones. I personally prefer the butane uh, because I can use this as a torch also. Uh, this I use this to heat my shrink wrap. I also use it to solder with. Uh, you will need some wire cutters, of course, because you have to cut the wires and you will need uh, the Dean's connector itself, of course. You're gonna need a lighter. Uh, this lighter could be used to shrink your shrink wrap or to ignite your butane uh, soldering iron. You will need some 60-40 solder, a little bit of shrink tubing. Uh, the first step you're gonna need to do is when you, go to, when you go to solder or when you go to prepare your battery, be sure not to cut both lines at the same time. I made a mistake. I was being stupid and uh, this is when I went to first uh, change my Dean's connectors. I cut both lines at the same time and what this did was this created a short between the two lines and the lipo battery that I was cutting almost exploded. I mean there was powder everywhere and I it, it actually, you know, I almost had a heart attack. I was like, oh my God, what did I just do? When you're working with a battery, be sure to only cut one line at a time and keep the second line away from the first line. That way there's not gonna be any risk of uh, short circuiting or anything like that. Now I'm gonna use the black line first and I'm cutting it as close to the Tamiya connector as I can. If I had a Tamiya removal tool, I would use that and then just un do the tips. Sucker's being tough. There we go. All right, now I'll just keep this line out of the way, not really gonna involve myself with that line, okay? Can just fold it out of the way. All right, now on this, I need, whoa, I need a knife. Because what I need to do is I need, I need to remove some of this rubber, about the amount uh, really, you only need to remove about the same amount that you're going to be soldering onto. And remember, your battery uh, goes onto the female side of the connector, not the male side. You really only need to use about that. You only need to cut off about that much. I might cut just a fraction of a bit more just because... And what I'm doing is I'm taking the knife and I'm rolling it and letting it cut gradually through the rubber. There you go. You just remove a little bit of the rubber off of there. Now I'm only gonna use one at a time. Uh, that way I don't accidentally cause a short. Okay, take your wires, give it a little bit of a twist just to make sure all the wires are still together. Um, now before I start soldering on this, I'm gonna take some of my shrink tubing, and this is a very important step to take some of your shrink tubing Cut your shrink tubing to cover the tip and a little bit of your wire. And don't forget this important step because once you solder the once you solder it onto that, you're not going to be able to slide your shrink tubing over your wiring. So make sure you get your shrink tubing slid over your wiring well in advance. And move it as far away as possible from your surface that you're going to be soldering. That way the heat from the solder doesn't actually shrink the tubing in the wrong spot. I've had that happen also. Now I'm just going to use this uh, needle nose to hold this uh, female Tamiya, I mean not Tamiya, female Dean's connector in place so that when I go to solder it, it won't move around on me. One of the very first steps you do now is to know what they call tinning. You gotta tin your wires. All right, now what, to, tin the, uh, to tin the tip of your wire, all you're doing is feeding solder down into the wire 
and having it absorbed into the wire to kind of fill it full of solder. Okay, and that should be tinned. You have to do the same thing to your connector. There, you just put a little bit of, just a bead on it. That's all you really need. Uh, you don't need it to be too overly crazy. Applying a little bit of downward pressure. I'm trying to get the solder to melt. Oh yeah, it's all melted. Ow, whoa, wire's hot. Phew. All right, now with the wire, with this Dean's connector soldered onto the end of the wire, what we do is we take our shrink wrap, we slide it up over the entire connection, try to push it as flush to the Dean's as possible, right? And then we use our heat to shrink the tubing onto the solder and it'll also grip it a little bit tighter once the shrink tubing shrinks. I don't know if you could see all that dang. Shrink the top there. There we go. So now you got one side of your Dean's soldered and shrink tubed. Okay, now let's try the other side. Okay. Here we go, let's see if we can remember the steps. First thing I'm gonna do is cut some shrink tubing. Then I'm gonna cut my wire. Much easier when there's only one side. Then I'm gonna trim enough of the rubber from the wire off so that I can solder. Be careful not to cut your wires. Shrink tubing over the wire. Don't forget this step, very important. Twist, or at least I like to twist it. Tin it by filling it full of solder. Just touch it from the bottom with your soldering iron. It should warm up the wires. Whoops. All right, the tip of that is tinned. All right, now we're gonna tin the other connector. Just put a little bead on it, that's all we're gonna do. Oh, where's the solder going? Okay. There we go, that looks much better. 
All right, then we take the wire and we attach it. We push the wire down. Because, well, we push the wire down to make a good connection. Should heat the uh, solder at the same time. Applying a little bit of a downward pressure, trying to get the solder to. Woo, okay. Wire's getting warm. Okay, there we go. Well, still, just for a second to let the solder dry, or not dry, but cool off. Um, it only takes a couple of seconds for the solder to cool off. And we should have a good Dean's connect connection right there. Now I'm just going to slide the other shrink tubing up and over. I don't know if you can see all that. Okay, slide the shrink tubing up and over. And make sure it covers as much as it'll cover. Maybe push it just a little bit up and heat it up. Don't burn it, just heat it. And that's how you get a Dean's plug onto your battery. Now, when you're going to actually attach it to your gun, be sure to use your male, okay, on the gun. This way, by using a female, you ensure that your battery doesn't have any kind of short outs. No wires actually touching each other or anything like that. Well, thanks for coming out and checking out this video on how to attach a Dean's connector to your battery. Be sure to watch the second portion of the video where actually I test the Deans on my gun and after I change the Tamiya from a Tamiya to a Deans to see if that actually improves the rate of fire at all. So thanks for coming out and checking out this video and remember guys, whenever you're on the airsoft field, play safe.